We are back, and today we want to make some armor with an armor forge. Now, I've looked through this book a bit, and all the different stuff, and I think the gems seem to do the best. Surskwats looked alright as well. Modifier 47, defense 35. I think that's good, <laughs> I think. And it has some other perks. But uh, its durability is 2. And if we have a look at Amethyst, Amethyst's durability is 8. So we can use Amethyst, or um, Sapphire is also at 7. We have a lot of those, and R Ruby. Now the thing is, I don't actually know how to turn a gem into the armor in there, right? So if we come in here, let's let's grab all the gems we have. Alright, as you can see, we have a lot more Sapphire than the rest. But we do have a little bit of Amethyst, so we might be able to do good here. Now, I'm wondering if we need to make a stencil first, which we make like this, putting a blank pattern in here. Is there armor stuff? There is. Okay. So let's make one of each. Alright, now in the part crafter, can we simply do this? We can! What? That's the core. That's the core of it. Okay. Chest plate core. So if we go in the armor forge, it requires a chest plate core, armor plates, and armor trim. Is that for all of them? Yeah, it is. Okay, okay. Let's um start off with what have we got? I guess we'll start off with the chest piece. It's the biggest one, but it's the only one that we don't have that is uh something fancy, right? So let's let's have a look. Part builder. Let's make an amethyst core. Or can we actually... No? We can't make it out of service quartz? We need... Oh, we need six, and we don't have that. Okay, we'll make it out of amethyst. Right? <laughs> right. Durability defense. I'm scared to. I'm scared to make it wrong. Let's make some more patterns. Because I think... Uh, so, wh what do we need for it? We need... Armor plates, armor trim. What's this? Armor trim? Armor plates. There we go. We've got them. So now, back in the part builder. Let's put in... Armor plates? Alright, so, so yeah, yeah. I was worried to make that chest piece because I saw the durability and the toughness, but I didn't see the modifier. So the modifier's on this. So, we'd want the modifier to be made out of quartz. Right? For durability too, but then that does more durability. Okay, okay. Here's the plan. Here's the plan. Trust, trust. We make this, which gives us the modifier that's really good. We make these, the plates or the trim. We make the trim out of amethyst. That gives us durability eight. Okay, and then we make the core also out of amethyst. Let's see. Durability thirty-eight. Defense twenty-seven. Yeah, so it's better, I believe. Let's see, how does this do? Not better. What does that say? Tom and Jerry. Okay. Let's let's do it. Let's just let's just jump right into it. All right, armor, chest. Oh, look at that! That is some beefy armor. And look at the dual. <laughs> what? What? Thirty-four. And a half thousand? What? 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 All right, look down here. Let's let's see how this looks. So that's with what we got. So so this chest piece does two and a half armor shields. <laughs> It's gone over. It's got an extra bar. This is insane. What? And it's still healing. I've, I've got extra hearts from this chest piece, which I think is the um the invigorating perk you see there in in pink. And it does shocking as well, which are apparently, as I just do things, I charge up, and then I don't know, like mine faster and stuff like that. Okay. 
I think that's the way we do it, though. Because that seems insane. So, we want to... We're going to need more Amethyst. That's a that's the problem. But next we'll do, I guess, a Helmet. Right? So let's go back into this stencil table. Actually, no. We don't need to, right? Because the Helmet also just uses Armor Plates and Armor Trim. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm feeling it now. I am feeling it now. Helmet, we want to make it out of Amethyst. It costs four. Mm. Yeah. We want to do that. Yep. <laughs> okay. It's lagging a bit. So we want armor plates. I forgot already which one we did. Yeah, the armor plates was with the Certus Quartz, but we, it cost three. We need more. We don't have more. Will it use Nether Quartz, maybe? Do you reckon? Do you reckon if we ask nicely, it'll use? Otherwise, I'll have to go mining a bit, which I, I am all for. I'm in the mood to mine some, but I didn't really have a reason to. Nah, it doesn't. Damn. We need more. We need more quartz. I don't think I have any, because my chests have been sorted somewhat decently. These are <laughs> ignore these, but when I mine, at least I sort it properly. No! Uh, do we mine for it, or do we just settle? <laughs> do we just settle with, um, you know, making it out of this? Because even this, look, modifier 36, durability 8. It's going to have way better durability. Actually, it's got no toughness. Maybe we look for a... Maybe I'll look for something that actually gives toughness. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Okay, so flint does toughness. How many how many toughness points an armor piece has? Hmm. We can do flint, but look at how bad it is. Minus nine durability. Armor durability multiplier will be changed by this amount. That is horrible. Bone is a bit better. Bone at least won't go down. So at the moment, bone's our best bet. Obsidian is better, but look at the minus fourteen. I don't know if I could do that. Sponge. Sponge is insane. How do we not have sponge? Ah, oh, I don't think there's a way to make sponge. Bronze isn't too bad. Silver. That's also an option. Pretty good. Steel. Even better. Okay. Peridot. Apparently, we can use that. Maybe I try that. Emerald is also pretty good. And that gives us these abilities that I can't actually hover over. I can't hover over Good Friday. Oh, maybe it's Good Friday Agreement. Iron Golems will not attack a player having this trait. While this tool is in your hand or the armor is worn, you will heal over time. That's pretty good. I don't know what the Good Friday is. It won't let me hover over that. Unless it's Good Friday Agreement, which I think it might be. It would have to be. Alright, so... At the moment, I think my options are Emerald, Bone, Peridot, or Steel. I'll have to go back and look at them all and see which one's the best. Actually, I don't even have enough Emeralds for that. So, I, I guess I could get more. Okay. Right, steel is really good, actually. I didn't realize how good Steel was until I saw other ones. And forgot how good steel was. And then I was like, oh, I wonder how good steel was again. Okay. And Peridot? Where was that? Yeah, so steel seems to be the way to go. Okay. How much steel do we have? I don't think we have any. We have dark steel, which is a completely different thing. Uh, steel. How difficult is steel to get? Steel ingot? Uh... Okay, just this one. So we can make it out of pulverized obsidian, which we can do, I think. Pulverized coal, which we can do. And brass. Brass. Brass, brass. Brass dust. Brass, brass. Brass, brass. Brass, brass. Brass, brass. Brass. Alloying. Zinc and copper. Zinc, you get from 
from from zinc, which you get from crushing Oh, you can get it from Sphalerite, which we get from the Nether. Okay. Do we have Zinc already, somehow? I don't think so. Tin. What do we have? We have Iridium. Nickel. No, we don't have Zinc. Do we have Zinc? Oh, no, it's Nickel. What? Is there another way to get it? <laughs> We can, oh, to get steel, we just need to liquefy coal, so we smelt coal and iron. And that gets, that gets us what we need. Easy. Easy peasy. Okay. So, what we need is we need to get lava into this bad boy. Into here. Now, I saved a tank on the side here, which is just iron and redstone. So, we'll quickly make that, and we'll use that to get our... Our lava that we need. Here we go. Uh, we've got a bucket. And yeah, I will go and get that and I will be right back. I'm looking for my food. There it is. <laughs> I'll be right back. I have found some lava right at the bottom of my mine. Oh. So I'll fill up this and then we should be good to go. We are back. I filled it up. I will now place it here. Can I... Oh. Fill empty. Empty? Will it empty it? How does it work? Empty. Em <laughs> empty upwards. I mean, I can just bucket it in. Is that full? Now it's full. Okay. So, we need to put some iron in there and some coal. I don't know how much, so we will guess. Let's let's do. I'll just bring that with, actually. Now we don't need a lot, but we'll make a lot, right? Let's just see this. We'll put that much in, and we'll put that much in. So apparently, this is weird. So 25 mil buckets of coal and 18 mil buckets of iron gives you 18 mil buckets of steel. The same amount of coal with less iron gives you less iron. Uh, it gives you less steel. So it seems like I should be putting a lot more iron in, right? Right? This, oh, it's combined, I think. Let's see how many we need to do. It's instantly turning it into steel. Two ingots left. One ingot left. Still one ingot. I'll just keep placing one until it's there. I don't want extra coal in the system. Oh, there we... We have a little bit of extra. We have 25 mil buckets. The exact amount that it shows in the other thing. Uh, let me put the coal back. Let me actually put some of this other stuff back. Like the sapphires that we're not going to use in the rubies. There we go. So now we have steel in here. If you click it, it moves it to the bottom. So as you can see, coal's at the bottom if I click it. So that's what would come out. But if I click on the steel, which we have one block of, it'll go to the bottom. And we can pour the block into this casting basin. And we should get a block of steel. You can see in the top left, it's filling up. And you can obviously see on the screen, it's filling up. And then, if you look in the top left, it has a progress. So that's it cooling down so that we can quite easily pick up this block of steel. <laughs> okay, we have our steel now. Which... We can't make. Ah! Oh, I mean, it's metal, so that makes sense. I don't know why the gems weren't... I guess... I guess it makes sense. So the steel, I believe we actually have to keep in here. So I'm going to put it back in, because it will probably take a little bit to smelt. I'm also going to put some gold in here. Uh, I'll put, I'll bring two, but I'll put one in for now. 
So what we're going to have to do is make a stone version of this, like that. And we're actually going to have to cast a cast, <laughs> cast a cast. So we'll place this here. Once this gold's done, we will pour the gold out onto this and make a armor plate cast. That's what it's called, yeah? I think so. So put the gold at the bottom and we'll place that. All right, so it needs two ingots. Okay, that's done. Place it here and it will quickly cool down into a cast. There we go. It destroys the stone uh, one that we had in there earlier. And then we should be able to cast steel in here. There we go. It cools a lot quicker because it's not, you know, nine ingots worth. There we go. We have steel armor plates. I believe we can put them in here and see, like, what they're worth, right? Can we... That's the forge. Can I place it here? Can we learn about it? Well, we can see. We, yeah, just hold shift on it. Look at that toughness. That is really good. I think. I think it's good. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. So what, what else do we need? We need the plate. So the plates, um, I believe we we're just going to make out of amethyst, right? Durability 8. Really good. As far as I know. Armor. Here we go. That, that, and that. And let's have a look. Nowhere near as durable. For whatever reason. I mean, it is just a helmet. But that's a big difference. I don't... You know what? I don't think it matters. Look at our toughness. We've got toughness 4. Defense 32. Right, let's see how this works. Um, I'm confident. So at the moment, if we take this off, it gets rid of one and a half. Right? If we put this on, we get an extra one. So it does two and a half. Right? Yeah, it does two and a half. And it gives us an extra two hearts. Or an extra... Yeah, an extra two hearts. That is crazy. But look at the durability difference. That is crazy. Oh, what it also does is... Look at the right here. We get two extra toughness. I'm also hearing scary noises. That is awesome. Alright, I want to do legs, but I don't think we can afford amethyst. So I might have to go mining for a bit. And then when I come back, I'll make the legs. So yeah, the, the reason it wasn't as good is because I believe if we find steel in here... Yeah, the modifier is 0 0.9, but the modifier on, um, you know, Ruby, which is what we were using, is 30. So the durability is insane, but it doesn't have the toughness, which I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm sure I'm sure it's right to have a mix. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. I found a little bit of amethyst already, but we have found more than enough now. For show. Sure. So I think that's good. Is there also is that amethyst there? It is. Um We'll block off the lava. Ooh! Oh, I was so confused. I jumped up here and I was like, what the hell is this? A common crate. Oak sealed crate. Okay. Wait for that lava to drain as well. Was oh, this small as well? Garnet. Uh, we'll gather that because I don't really see much of it. So I assume it's somewhat rare. Okay. This is done. Oh! Let's see what was in it. Dark boots. So that's like what we've got, but with some different abilities. Empowerment 2 and inventory 1. Emerald chest. Oh my god. I didn't even know that existed. I mean, I could assume it existed, right? Corrupted chorus fruit. Some guards. I think I've, I think this is other stuff I've gathered. An iron hammer. Okay. I assume he picked it all up, right? Did I pick up anything? Mm, not that I can see at the moment. Okay. We're good to go back. This mod pack has slash home, so it's uh, very helpful when exploring and doing all of that. Okay. I have all the amethyst I need. Let's make ourselves some legs. Uh, armor. 
Tool Forge. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to decide whether I do steel for that as well. I think I do. Yeah, I want to put some stuff in this guy. Okay, legs, we want to make the this bit again. Oh, it's the same bit, right? I should just be able to do that. Is there enough steel? There is. Perfect. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to put two gold in there so that we can make a, another cast. This time an ingot cast. So we'll have that going. Alright, we have the steel now. Then we need... Uh, the actual legs. Perfect. Uh, and then we need these plates. Which, do we do it out of this? You know what, I'm actually going to have a look. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hear me out, but I think cheese is the way to go. Now, it can summon rats, which I don't know if that's good or not. And it smells so good, you could eat it. But it has durability 13. I feel like that's the way to go. I'm looking at the rest of these. And yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking, uh, another one that I thought was good. Was Electrum. I don't know how to make it. I assume it's somewhat easy. Yeah, I think I'm just going to settle with, uh, with some cheese, right? That might be fun. <laughs> Let's. Let's uh, work on getting che I think I have some cheese. Is it in here? No. Is it in here? We have a block of cheese. Let's have a look. Block of cheese in here. Can I just do that? No. Uh, I'll try an actual piece of cheese. You know what? I'll keep the block as one. Because I believe I have actual broken cheese. At least I thought I did. Here it is. I found it. I found the cheese. Never fear. Cheese is here. We can do it. There we go. Cheese. I'm going to do it. I've done it. I made it out of cheese. It, you can't stop me now. It's already been done. It, 800 durability. Toughness 4. Let's have... So what does is, what is Indomitable do? I think that makes it stronger. Oh, this is going to look very odd. Look at us. Oh, actually, I forgot to have a look at how much it does. Oh, my God. Oh, so, so this was the legs before. It gave us two bars. Two extra ones there. Our new ones give us four. And extra toughness. And extra hearts. We're up to what? Three. We can go up to six, I think. And we can sometimes spawn rats, apparently. And we haven't eaten cheese before. We ate cheese. We've done it. <laughs> okay. That is very cool. Alright. Uh, these boots. I think we'll keep the boots because they let us jump. Unless we can put the boots on the, on the thing. Which we might actually be able to do in this mod. I'm not sure, though. Okay, now we need to have a look at our modifiers. So, we can have it so that we are faster by adding redstone, which might be good, might be like a bit too crazy, so we want to be careful adding that, I think. Yeah. Okay. We can get some resistance modifiers so that we're stronger. Okay. That, that does sound pretty good. Multiple levels. Not compatible with other resists, so maybe not. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, blast protection, I assume. Projectile protection. Fire resistance. We can add a diamond for extra durability. That might be good for like our helmet and stuff. Minor armor and toughness increase. Single use. Fabulous. <laughs> we can do emerald, which increases 50%. So that's pretty good. We'll add the diamond and add this, and then it's super strong. But I think all our armor pieces have three modifiers. So we could have that, 
plus this emerald, so that's two. And then we could pick another one. Or we could just add parasitic. And then it'll heal. It'll repair based on our health. Which doesn't sound too bad. But we would need to get... Actually, I think I have a Witherbone. Because I think we found... I think I found, uh... When I was out exploring a spawner. That spawned Wither Skeletons. Okay. This reinforces its health with durability. This one might be better. I think this is what I thought the resistance one would be. I think that adds a lot of durability to it. We can do Mending Moss, which turns XP into repairing it. <laughs> we can slow them down with Sticky. Uh, what's this? Putting Chorus Fruit gives you a stronger jump. Okay. Be careful on the landing though. So we could add this on our boots. We could change our boots to have this on it, which sounds pretty cool. Each popped chorus fruit increases jump by a small amount. Does not protect against fall damage, single level. Okay. So I could add these until I have the same amount of jump height, which sounds pretty good. And then I could also add something that I assume slows it down or does like, you know, less fall damage. Armor remains in your inventory after death. That is pretty cool. Does not require a modifier. Whoa. We get nether stars. I mean, we have the gravestone mod, so I guess it's... I don't know. Although, I guess, it, yeah, if we fall in the void or something, or like somewhere where we can't get back to, at least we have our OP armor. That does sound really cool. Invisible ink. What? Oh, purely cosmetic. Okay, so, so we can hide the armor so it looks like I'm just walking around. That actually doesn't sound too bad, because th this armor is very exotic. But I think I think it kind of looks cool. It, it gives it uniqueness, right? Uh, stores oxygen over time when equipped. Uses stored oxygen when underwater. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, increased attack power. Can only be applied to chest pieces. Cannot be applied with telekinetic or dexterous. We don't have that, so we could do that to be stronger. Um, increase attack speed. That's also pretty cool. Um, increases reach distance. Oh, that sounds really good. So we can click blocks further away. That is really good. Really handy. Uh, what's this? Increase the step height. Can only be applied to boots. Multiple levels. Step height. Walking up blocks. Is that like step assist? But without the jumping part? Maybe. Frostwater, uh, not really a fan of that. Glowing. Sees the light level. Oh. Places the light source on low light level. That's pretty cool. We could make that as well. Uh, I think I've got some glowstone models in there, though. Uh, wouldn't want to see it rust. It gets, applies the same toughness level of the material used to the armor. Okay. So this is a polishing kit. So I... Oh, so I could have had the insane durability and then added toughness to it. Ah, oh, I wish I knew this. Alright, we, we might end up... I might end up making some more armor off camera that is just the same stuff but uh, only amethyst. So I'll need to mine some more amethyst for that. And then I can apply like the steel uh, polishing kit to it. That sounds really good. Requires no modifier as well. That is amazing. We're going to have to do that. Embossment. Take an armor part and emboss it right onto your armor. The armor takes on the traits of the armor part, but not the stats. Okay. So I can add the different uh, traits and it doesn't change the stats. So if I want like the, I don't know, the extra health uh, from a from the amethyst armor, but I want it on wood armor. I can do that, and it keeps the wood armor stats. <laughs> I don't know why I would want that, but I can. I guess I could do that with um like wood, because wood has a trait where it just heals. It just repairs your armor, and that's like the trait of it. I could do that, but I don't have these slime crystals. That is really cool, and I think I also want the zoom. So let's see how to make this traveler's zoom, traveler's goggles. Travelers, travelers, 
goggles. Uh, where is it? Zoom. So traveler's goggle and two glass. Easy. Traveler's goggles base is made out of leather, string, and glass. I think I could do that. And then I can apply it straight onto it. Oh, uh, I wanted to make a different helmet though, right? I want to change it so that it has the like 30,000 durability. And then I, I, but that is good. That is good. So I think for next episode, I'll come in with the better armor. I'll leave the boots for now because these are pretty cool. <laughs> they, because they increase the swim speed as well. They're, they're very cool. Um, so yeah. Next episode, I should have the same style chess piece like this one, but on these. So it'll have the insane durability and I'll get the sharpening kits. So steel polishing. Is it polishing kits? Steel polishing kit. Which upgrades your armor to the materials toughness level. Yeah, that sounds awesome. I might, or I'll, if I find a better toughness, I can do that as well. So, oh, that's pretty. That's pretty cheap as well. So yeah, it'll have the same toughness, but it'll have the better durability, and I might even put some modifiers on. And I'll let you know next episode what I decide then. Yeah. Wait, let's have one last look at ourselves. Oh my god, look at how powerful we look. That is crazy. We have strengthened up so much. I wonder what can I test it on? I kind of want to like get hit by something that would normally hurt us a lot. Um, oh, I forgot about these guys. Yeah, right, I'm going to sleep through the day. Oh, I can't sleep in a coffin? Ah, oh, okay. Well, I'll wait until... Uh, no, I'll do neither of that. I'll just go into the dungeon. Oh, another thing. I think next episode, we'll get a better sword. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that, and then we'll test out the armor and a new sword in the next episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might do that. Okay. That sounds like a plan. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed... Leave me a like. If you didn't enjoy, let me know in the comments what in particular you didn't like, and I'll see if I can go about fixing it. If you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe so it'll show up in your feed, and if you want to be notified, make sure you press the notification bell.